Next time, bring some stuff, Lori. Sheesh. I know. The produce <laughs> mom, Lori Taylor, better known as the produce mom, is here, exactly. and we're talking lettuce, but not the typical. When we well, think lettuce, we tend to think bag salad, limp, pale, is, well, iceberg, kind of yeah, uh, less kinda than. Kind of limited to iceberg, maybe. Iceberg for L sure, and yeah. also, I mean, the convenience-minded consumer just gravitates towards often the bag salads and yeah. doesn't even know totally. how to identify their bulk lettuces. So we're going to walk you through those today. Okay. Okay. Uh, with the help of. Tanimer and Antle, they're one of our growers in the produce industry. They grow in both the Salinas Valley, which is known as America's Salad Bowl, okay. and also in the Arizona Desert, which is the Yuma Valley. That's where most of your lettuce is coming from oh, right now, pictures. as a matter okay. of fact. So um, what sets Tanimer and Antle apart from other suppliers, um, other growers in the produce industry, is the fact that they pack their lettuce in the field. Oh, what does that mean okay. to us? Here's a picture wow. there of them actually actively harvesting and packing in the field. Well, let's get into the store faster, right? It'd have it's, to yeah, if you're not you're going to some middle... You're eliminating an entire yeah. packing house. Yeah. You're also eliminating wow. excessive handling of sure. your product because it's picked, it's put in the bag, it's sealed, and then it goes to the cooling rooms and, and it, 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 it gets to your home quicker. So. Mm. Um, that is one reason I'm in love with this brand and the products that they grow. So what I can, um, what we'll show you now is I just have some bulk lettuces here, and we'll see if you guys can identify them. We'll start with the most uh, Romaine. 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 <laughs> Bam. Yeah. That's as deep as I get. That's it. I'm done. I'm, uh, I'm, no, I'm undefeated. No, no. That's it. These two are like brother and sister. Is there an arugula uh, in there? No. no. I don't know. You've probably, these are very popular in delis on top of sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, it still doesn't. Right Green here. leaf, red leaf. Oh, that Light was really complicated. Texture. I see why yes. you couldn't get that one. Okay. <laughs> and these two. Okay, that both, I don't know. Okay, okay this you've probably seen in your spring mix, right? Like you've yeah, seen these seen funky it. lettuces in your mm -hmm. spring mixes that She's you buy. Yeah. I eat salad. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, come on. You do sometimes, right? Uh, this is endive. Endive, okay. Yes. Oh, that's and endive. it's bitter. Yes. Okay, so a little goes a long way with endive. Favorite. It yeah. is, but you know what? It tastes delicious with it, like a lemon vinaigrette. It something has its it. uses. And it and also its really, if it has a uh, any sort of like a protein, like a mm -hmm. cheese or a meat, it oh, pairs okay. nicely with the bitters. This is also like endive in flavor. This is called escarole. So it's okay. very similar, but it doesn't have that same texture. That one is almost like yeah, it's got a little can be a little prickly. Yeah, spindly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is a little yeah, yeah. Yes. a little severe yeah, looking. Yeah, it feels more and like a kale. Yes. Yeah, it does. And then really one of the best ways to make a salad with these field grown lettuces uh -huh. is to find this pack here, which is the artisan lettuce. Okay. And this is a mix of all of this. Oh, all right. So this Idiot provides first. you with yes, and there's small tender um, heads of lettuce, very easy to prep. Now, so, now with veg darker is better, right? As far as like to a degree. I mean, hang on, all produce is good for you. Well, I understand you know that, that, but, but <laughs> no, but, but you always hear the. There's different reasons why your lettuces take on different mm -hmm. colors. It can be due to, you know, phytonutrients. Right. It can be due to sunlight exposure. But you're getting, uh, you're going to. All right, for the sake of argument, you're going to a fast food store, restaurant, mm -hmm. and you're mm -hmm. ordering something, and you're getting lettuce on it. You think you're doing yourself good. What you're going to get through that process is a really pale and a really limp, and has gone through all the extra steps that's being avoided, right? So it's you're right. So the darker the green, mm -hmm. typically the darker mm -hmm. the green the healthier okay. and more nutrient dense okay. the product is. Right. So your kales, your spinaches, dark, dark greens, that's right. why okay. those are often referred to as superfoods. Okay. So, yeah, I like, like these. These are great. Yeah. Okay. And we have a quick and easy artisan uh, salad here. This is this is a Greek salad. It's an Antle family recipe, so straight from the farmers themselves. Mm. And it's so easy to prep this lettuce. Don't be intimidated and think you can't do it. Open up your artisan lettuce. Beautiful. And then you just Lovely. simply mm -hmm. it is, it's sitting in the take there. the the end off, mm -hmm. okay? And then it's so simple. Run your knife through it. It's all edible except for that very end. Yeah. But. And you don't have to cut <laughs> it too <laughs> fine. You're obviously not cutting it too fine either. Keep nah, it really rough. Nah. And yeah. And then you'll just want to wash that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you guys have this fancy chilling drawer here. Oh, but nobody yes. uses it. Thank you yes, for using right. it. First time it's ever been used. <laughs> right? Amazing. I think so. Okay. So after you wash it, because you do need to wash yeah. your lettuce yeah, sure. always, don't right. skip that step. After you wash it, drain it well, put it in a stainless steel bowl, okay. and into the fridge for about 30 minutes. And yeah. that is what's called crisping your lettuce. You've probably heard of let's crisp the lettuce mm -hmm. or whatever. You might have heard it on a cooking show, whatever. Sure. That's what they're referring to. Okay. So you've got your crisp lettuce and then it's just very simple. You add your onions, your diced Except tomatoes. It's just not good. Cukes. 
Cukes. That's produce lingo. That's right. Cukes. <laughs> Olives and then a little bit of cheese. What kind of cheese is that? Feta. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Greek vinaigrette. This entire recipe will be on IndieStyle.com as well as TheProduceMom.com. Okay. TAProduce.com is a great destination as well to learn more about how to use all of the Tanamur and Antle products. Mm -hmm. So toss it up. Best yes. salad tongs in the world. The human Best, that's right. <laughs> now, for the big game, we've all got the big game coming up. Perhaps you're entertaining. Mm -hmm. right? My favorite way to serve salads at a party is not in a bowl with a fork, but right. in a wrap or in a pita. Okay. And it's it's a Greek salad. So more accessible. Stuff it's handheld when you're dealing with that's football. Right. Nobody yes. wants to do it. Yes, yes. Exactly. So this is what it looks like if you put it in a pita, and it's, it makes a great appetizer and a healthy option. So often we go to you know, tailgate type parties and it's just a bunch of uh, junk food. So. We'll do that with the wings on the side. That yeah. way you're getting yeah. a little bit trying to be good. You're you trying know, to be good. There are not making an effort. That's all you can ask for. moms appreciate healthy choices. That's what right. are we going to be doing a little bit later? What are those things down there you're going to talk about? This later? we are going to do also going along with the theme of the big game. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I thought, hey, why not do a snack mix buffet at your party and why not find all of the ingredients for your snack mix in the produce department? So that's what we're going to talk about. Snacks Sounds like in the produce department? <laughs> Snacks like in the produce department. Challenge. Woman, you've right. gone mad. I know. <laughs> that's insane. Said the guy with the daughter with a gag reflex for lettuce. We can work on that, though, in a pita. That would be lovely. We'll make yeah. sure we have the links on IndieStyle.tv. Yes, please. Thank you. Look at that.